Hello everyone, welcome to Big Data Knowledge and in the today's video we will be going to see in our database uh, widely used in Big Data that is Cassandra. So it is a database which is mainly used in Big Data uh, widely. So let us see what is meant by Cassandra. So it was developed by Facebook for an inbox search. So for an inbox search, Cassandra was a database developed by Facebook, and it, it was a open. It is an open source database, uh, basically, um, from uh, in 2008, and it was accepted into the Apache uh, Notebook or Apache Incubator in March 2009. Till till that, it was not accepted by the Apache. Now you can integrate Cassandra with the Apache server also. So uh, it was made an Apache top level project since February 2010. This was a history about the Cassandra. So Cassandra is a database that is used in the machine, uh, machine learning languages to store the data also in big data related operations. So basically it was developed by Facebook and after that it was integrated with Apache in 2009 uh, and now it is used in high level project from 2000, uh, 2010. Okay. So Cassandra is a highly scalable and a distributed database uh, which handles a large amount of data since it is used in big data languages. It provides us the community commodity server same as Hadoop. Also it provides high availability with, a sing uh, with no single point of failure. It provides high available services with no single point of failure means it's, it's, it is very highly tolerant. It, avoid, it has a fault tolerance capacity. So the Cassandra database is highly scalable. It has fault tolerance capacity. It provides basically commodity server based architecture same as Hadoop. So it is integrated with Apache now. So the Cassandra database has uh, basic uh, multiple features such as this is case scalable. So we can integrate it with multiple servers or multiple platforms it is consistent the data can be stored consistency no loss of data is possible the cassandra is a column oriented database as we know there are two types of databases row oriented and column oriented so in cassandra the data is stored in the form of columns so cassandra is a column oriented database uh, its distribution design means the criteria design of apache cassandra is based on the amazon dynamo db i hope everyone is uh, aware what is Amazon DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a database of Amazon. So the design is based on Amazon DynamoDB and its data model on Google's big table. So these are two databases. Amazon DynamoDB is one of the database whereas Google big table is one of the database. So based on two databases, Cassandra is built. The design is based on these two databases. As I told you before also, it is created as Facebook and it differs sharply from the relational uh, traditional database management system. It's not like uh, normal DBMS like SQL and all those things. Cassandra implement a Dynamo style replication model with no single point of failure. So it is fault tolerant but adds a more column, powerful column family data model since it is a column oriented database. Cassandra is used nowadays by some of the big companies such as Facebook, Twitter, Cisco, eBay, Twitter, Netflix, Rackspace, etc. So it is obviously it is being developed by Facebook. So Facebook uses Cassandra as their main database. Also Twitter, eBay, Netflix. These are some of the popular organization or companies which use Cassandra as their main database. So we in daily life we use uh, Twitter, we use Netflix. So we are unaware that which databases they are being using. So Cassandra is the database which store the large amount of data and these companies are using these as their databases. So what are the components of Cassandra? So these are the components uh, that are being composed or Cassandra is composed of these of the uh, parts that is a node data cluster. Same as in Hadoop. We have seen in Hadoop also there are multiple components of Hadoop. Similarly of Cassandra there is a node, a data center, a cluster a commit log, a memory table, a SS table and a bloom filter. So we will see one by one what are these things. So node, node is a place where the data is being stored and the data centers are the collection of the related nodes. Means multiple data centers are collected, multiple nodes. So uh, a data center is a collection of related nodes. A 
cluster is a component that contains one or more data centers. So, a data center is a collection of nodes and a cluster is a connection of data centers. Now, what is commit log? So, a commit log is a crash recovery mechanism in Cassandra. Means whenever the write operation is done, then the write operation is written into the commit log. So, it is basically a cache recovery mechanism or it is a one type of store books where each time when the write operation is done, the entry is written into the commit log. The memory table, the memory table is a memory resilient data structure. After a commit log, the data will be written into the memory table. Sometimes for a single column family, there will be multiple memory tables. So memory table is a data structure where after a, uh, each write operation, the data will be stored into the memory table. SS table, it is a disk file to which the data is flushed from the memory table when the contents reach a threshold value. Means once the memory table is full, then all the contents from the memory table will be transferred to the SS table. So it is a disk file, basically a storage. That whenever in our um, daily life also, whenever we our memory is being full, we will transfer the memory to a drive. So in the same fashion, if the memory table is full, then the, all the um, data will be flushed to the disk file. That file is all the table is known as the SS table. Bloom filter is a non-deterministic algorithm for testing whether an element is a member of a set. It is a special kind of cache memory. So Bloom filter are accessed after every query. So it is one type of cache memory. It will uh, store the data uh, while each operation. Once the operation will done, the data will be flushed out. So it is one type of cache memory and after each query the memory will be uh, the bloom filter will be accessed. So these are the some of the components of Cassandra and this was the basic introduction about the data structure that is used widely nowadays uh, in industry. So I hope everyone is clear. If anyone have any doubt let me know in the comment section or you can connect me on Instagram the ID is provided in the description box. So for more such videos related to machine learning data science and big data, stay tuned on the channel, make sure to subscribe.